Hello everyone, it is I, Little Bean. We are back once again, this time for something a little bit special, a little bit different. Uh, I'm here today with my friend, Koa Mio. Hello everyone, hello to all my co-workers out there. <laughs> And we actually decided to start doing this little collab series together where we're going to do uh, a monthly update on everything that's going to be released in Twisted Wonderland, both in English and in Japanese, since we both play both servers. Yeah, so it's going to be uh, interesting <laughs> trying to, uh, I guess, like waiting to see the updates on both sides. It's kind of weird since, you know, we've already kind of been through the content that english twist is now going like starting to go into yeah and not to mention that now we have uh twice the reasons to cry and suffer because it's uh twice the banners for our gems to get wasted on birthdays are gonna be like horrendous <laughs> my god i'm already feeling it my wallet is crying <laughs> like once we hit oh my god once we hit the second year in like twist english where they have like birthday reruns and meanwhile like japanese twist is on the like third birthday rerun <laughs> oh my god i can't even i can't even imagine. i don't even want to think about it right now <laughs> just thinking about it has my head spinning because we're already like we're already in pretty deep as we'll see right here so here we've got the the japanese banner up let's start with jp since that's what we got up so for the next month coming in march for Twisted Wonderland, uh, if we can scroll a little bit here. So, so it looks like starting in March, we're going to be starting off with the next bit of Chapter 6, which is the Igni High chapter. Ooh, yay! Yeah, the main story. <laughs> I guess like main story, I don't know, middle, like part two. I don't, I don't know how they calculate their yeah, so it seems <laughs> parts like it's anymore. Be the, it seems like it's going to be the middle part, but part two two of the middle part i don't know if that means they're gonna do like a rerun for ortho's banner maybe that that could be a thing um but either way it's gonna be pretty interesting i think i'm just i'm just looking forward to more igni high chapter because i'm really enjoying it so far and i want i just want to also throw out there that i totally predicted this like three days ago we were talking and i said that i thought igni high chapter next part was gonna come in march I've, I've been impressed that they've actually, you know, kind of been on schedule every second month. They've released the main story compared to the Palm Fiore yeah, drought. Yeah, Palm Fiore. <laughs> that was, that was terrible. That was a really hard wait in between, but I'm looking yeah. at you, Palm Fiore boys. <laughs> but it's good to know we are continuing chugging along the main story in uh, Chapter 6. Uh, it seems very exciting to read what's happened so far. And it's always on a cliffhanger too. We always want to know what's next. Absolutely. And, and... Listen, I lo as much as I love the chapter I'm going through, like going through chapter six just for me means one step closer to diasomnia. I can't <laughs> wait for diasomnia. <laughs> yeah, you're you're looking the far far ahead there. I'm I'm I waiting for the the shroud brothers like crumbs lore essentially. <laughs> I'm I'm waiting to I see just... what happens. Me too. I just can't. I won't be able to handle it when they get into the inevitable tragedy of what happened. Like, it's just, it, the writing's on the wall, and I'm uh, I'm not ready. My heart's not ready. We'll have to find <laughs> out. But then, uh, right, yeah, right in the middle of like, like the beginning of March, there we have. I can't believe this is like the second anniversary for Twist. No, Twist I came out March 18. Years. Yeah, it's almost been I two years. I can't believe it's been two years. Oh my god, it's been so. Long. How have we already been in this fandom for so long? I feel like I've only been here for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> Time is a man-made construct. <laughs> oh and my god, obviously. <laughs> everything just speeds right along. But yeah, I'm excited to see what they're going to do for the second anniversary. Uh, probably, yeah. I assume, some sort of anniversary gotcha. Which just means more things to roll. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the, the first year anniversary was kind of like... Made me want to cry a little bit just because... It was like, oh yeah, here's something special. Get like a, you know, an SSR guaranteed. But hey, you have to throw all your gems at the gacha board. <laughs> it wasn't really much of a gift. Yeah, this first anniversary gave us a Grim card, right? That was like a first ever. Yeah, yeah, it was actually. <laughs> I don't know. I, still I have feel that like card at level sixty. <laughs> I feel like you know that what they could do to cause a ruckus is just to throw a Divis Cruel card in there and watch everyone just. Oh Scramble. my god, <laughs> the simps, the simps, I mean, I'm one of them as well, but the simps! 
<laughs> it would be awful. I mean, we it could start going to staff. Yeah, it'd be kind of yeah. cool. But <laughs> excited to see what they're going to do. Uh, we'll probably get this whole or thing like a, for anniversary. Yeah. Or what if they gave like a dire Crowley card? <laughs> wow, how generous. <laughs> so yasashi. <laughs> so yasashi, Nilde. I mean, it's oh like... I, I don't know if he's the, the, on my priority list of what I would want from an anniversary, no. but I would say no. no. <laughs> the only thing I want is I want another nice uh, nice trailer to go to like get me hyped for the eventual anime that will be released sometime within the next 30 years. Oh uh, yeah, I love the first year anniversary trailer. Everyone just looks really so nice. pretty in it. It was really, really nice. Um, so yeah, it looks like after the second anniversary, in the middle of the month, we're going to be getting Sebek's birthday. Woo! Happy Sebek. birthday, Crocodile Man! Yeah, he's, uh, March 17. Oh, his birthday is right before the anniversary. That's kind of funny. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty lucky. I mean, personally, I don't know if I'm going to be throwing all that much into Sebek's birthday. Not going to lie. Um, so my gems at least will be safe for that one. Uh, I don't know about you, Koa? Mm, I've never really rolled on Sub Expander, to be <laughs> honest, but I actually did like kind of his like information or lore about his family um, yeah. that we found out, yeah. Last time. I feel so bad. Sebex like the one character in this entire game where like his family and his family dynamic is somehow way more appealing to me, at least personally, than he himself. I think Sebek, um, I think if we, like, take him out of the context of, like, Diasomnia, I haven't interacted with other people, he's actually just, like, really hilarious. So the latest oh, event, is. the, uh, the whole thing with, I cannot pronounce his name to save my life, Kel Karotu or whatever. <laughs> I can't yeah, pronounce it's it. Like, I just say the sledding event. The sledding event. <laughs> like, yeah. he, I really liked this Sebek in that event. I think, like, he's he was just so funny, too. Um, Absolutely. The, he plays, like, a really good sort of over-enthusiastic straight man to, like, everybody else. It's, it was really good. He's just very earnest, but, like, too much so. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a, a really good boy. Good he's a good boy at yeah. heart. He's a good boy at heart. You just have to get him away from, uh, from Waka-sama and Lia-sama for a little bit, that's all. Yeah, definitely. And then in the last, I guess, late March, we have, I am actually impressed, another part of the main story. Ooh, yay! Nice! It looks like it's gonna be another part one. Okay. <laughs> another part <laughs> one! But it looks like the part one to, I guess, the finale. I'm surprised it doesn't, where we are doesn't feel like the finale yet. Like, it doesn't even feel I like know. we've reached the climax. So I don't know, like, what's gonna go down to like really start pushing towards that like climax of the story it's gonna be really interesting though because now i mean like we've got all these parts and we've been seeing that with each successive chapter the parts have just been getting longer and longer and longer does that mean like diasomnia is gonna take like over a hundred parts to finish oh god I, I feel like they're gonna st stretch it out because, like, after Diasomnia, where's where's the story gonna go? I think it's the biggest question. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Be interesting to see, but I guess before we make any speculations about that, let's just enjoy the story that we're getting right now. But yeah, I'm impressed that they're actually doing another story part like right at the end of the <laughs> month that's gonna be cool oh man chapter like chapter five pop fury is such a vast difference i'm like what two chapters in one month are you yeah. really <laughs> yeah compared to pop fury you're sitting there waiting for the next part it's been like five months and they haven't released it yet <laughs> yeah so i'm happy there are more more story chapters to look forward to in this coming yeah. march Absolutely. So it looks like March is going to be the month of main story, I guess, is the thing. It's main story month. And then, like, some anniversary goodies, hopefully. And one birthday for one good cucumber boy. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's yes. seems like a good lineup to me. I am satisfied with what we're going to get so far. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. And I'm happy that, you know, for the most part, it looks like I'll be able to thankfully save my gems for a little while for a b banner that i really want because come april oh boy <laughs> unless you there's someone you want to bro for anniversary but i think uh 
I'll pretty have good. to see, but but so far I think my gems will be okay for this month because I will need them for April. Because Phil's birthday is in April. <laughs> <laughs> you got a month to uh, at least save up for that. Save. I gotta uh, save. Yeah, but, so that's uh, the uh, that's the March yeah. event lineup for the Japanese side of things. Absolutely. Let's uh, go on over now and see what the uh, English Twist server has to hold. And I feel like it's a little bit more jam-packed than this one. But let's go check it out. Hello, everyone. We are back. And we're going to be looking this time at what the English Twist server has to offer us. And as you can see, straight from the header, it is going to be a March Madness for Azul Simps. I am speaking of Azul Sims <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah, I I am it's this is it's both heaven and hell. It's yep. it's like I'm like of course I will accept Azul in any shape or form, but at the same time I do not have the, the funds or gems to keep up with all these Azuls. GG to your wallet, my friend. I will say a Hail Mary for your wallet. <laughs> It's rough because, like, what at the coming at the end of February? Well, guess what? That was technically February 28th, so we already have this, uh, you know, book three, part three that's already dropped. Um, SS Dorm Azul's already here. Currently, we're in the middle of the Octavinel training camp as well. Mm -hmm. So, the other thing, too, with the because I'm actually not there yet. If you go on my channel, you'll be able to see I'm doing the uh, walkthrough or playthrough of uh, the whole story. And I don't like to get ahead. So I haven't actually looked at Octavia now, but I'm pretty sure part three is the last part, right? Yes, indeed. And I actually went through like the story and like the walkthrough of it or playthrough of it on my channel. So it's just been a lot, a lot of Octavia now for me. <laughs> yeah, oof. But it looks like we're finally gonna be getting getting those uh, the pre-reg rewards that we were all promised. It's like yay That's kind of nice. to everyone, finally. all the yay. players. I feel like we need like a collective name for ourselves. We all you Kantoku says out there, all you prefects. I think all you prefects. I like it. We'll all call, you prefects. We'll call ourselves prefects. Yeah, That's all it. you prefects. So we all yep. get that nice juicy bonus because. Uh, I hope I hope just like that includes just like a lot more gems to roll with and keys. Yeah, and we uh, we definitely needed that trading camp because between chapter three and Azul's banner, uh, we have a couple of other things. So just like with the Japanese server, the English server is following suit immediately, starting off with birthdays. So Sebek is getting his birthday uh, his birthday bash as well here in English. Although he won't have the second year thing, he'll have the first year birthday bash that JP had last year. Yep, so hey. <laughs> as, More as bad, birthdays for Sebek. As, as bad as it sounds, I'm like, oh yeah, free 10 keys from yeah. Sebek's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but the real thing here, and this to me was the really shocking things, because uh, if you're like us and you were like a Japanese player, you played on the Japanese server, you already knew ahead of time uh, some events that were going to happen. But this event really surprised me because I'm pretty sure it was a quite a few months into the game before we ever had the first MasterChef event. And here we are getting our very first MasterChef event in the English server, basically right out of the gate. Yeah, because when I... MasterChef, I really... I remember this, that it happened around February because people were joking that instead of Valentine's Day, we got like a meat-related <laughs> cooking event. Yes. yes, now that you said mention it. Yes, I remember that. It was like a year into the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was super surprised. I'm like, this event, yeah, was one year into the JP game. So you, we get this super early. Yeah, and they're like kind of shoving it in here. I mean, it's not like it's not like this month has nothing going on. It's just like wow, they're really stuffing March full of content for Twist. And I have to say, whoever decided on the pun raising the stakes, uh, you need to raise yourself, okay? <laughs> Seriously, that was I, I like that. It's uh, I feel like the Japanese version was something called like the like bliss of meat or something, which is also yeah. kind of 
funny, but it's uh, raising the stakes is raising interesting. The stakes is, don't they change the name though? Pun. It used to be yeah. like I I don't know maybe it's a uh, copyright or whatever trademark that they're not using Master Chef and calling it the Culinary Crucible instead. Maybe I think there's a I think there's a TV show that's called Master Chef. There is there doing. is yeah. but that's probably yeah. why yeah yeah. And that's why, but I, I don't know. I kind of miss the fact that they called it Master Chef. I'm probably still going to call it Master Chef just because I'm so used to it. But yeah, for anybody who wants to participate, I do recommend playing Master Chef. It is a ton of fun. Just uh, the way that you'll be able to cook all your little recipes and whatnot and going out and farming for ingredients to make your recipes with. It's a ton of fun for an event like this. And uh, for anybody who is interested, we'll get an SR Riddle and an SR Silver in these absolutely adorable and amazing uh, chef outfits that you will definitely want to collect. If you're anything like me and you are a collector, you will want to collect them. They, they look really nice and spiffy in their, in their chef outfit. But absolutely. Just... And who doesn't love... Who doesn't love the image of a male wife cooking? <laughs> what well, this? I guess they're like the. I don't know. There's a difference between you know the whole uh, kitchen chef outfit and like the apron. But I, I digress. That's that's another. That's a different yeah. topic entirely. Yeah. And besides, they're just very wholesome. I just it's just wholesome, and I really like it. So I'm planning on probably rolling a little bit on uh on this just so that I can get maybe one copy of each. That would be nice. Yeah, I like to still have like a copies of them as well, and uh, it'll be interesting uh, going through uh, Master Chef uh, or Kel I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep calling it Master Chef. I swear to God. <laughs> Me too. Um, because like I have so many like of my Master Chef cooking videos on my channel, so it's just like hello, hello, old friend. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> Complete the collection. Yeah. Uh, and then as we go down. Uh, Someone's JavaScript the... wasn't working too yeah. well. Div class header. Oh, okay. <laughs> no worries. But like the real big here now. This week were, was the event that we were kind of expecting. Uh, we weren't expecting the Master Chef event, but we were expecting Beans Day. Beans Day is somewhat infamous on the Japanese version of the game. It was the first event ever held in the Japanese version of Twisted Wonderland. And it's the one that people seem to remember somewhat the most fondly. I know that even to this day, there's still people on Pixiv and whatnot who are still making fan art of Beans Day. I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> I like Beans how it's Day called uh, Beans Fest Beans now, Beans Survival Beans of the Beanus. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know who's making these dad jokes, but it's amazing and please keep doing it. Please keep up the work. Do not listen to the people who have been ragging on the English translations, okay? They're just like sad, salty people, okay? They don't know how to have fun. This is amazing. I love it. <laughs> I have definitely gotten a fair bit of chuckles and just like laughs just from whatever the way they translate some things and I'm I'm I I I love puns, so <laughs> I won't Absolutely. complain about the puns. Yeah. And so this uh this event for Beans Day, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep calling it Beans Day too because I'm just so used to it. Uh so Beans Day will uh offer us an SSR for Zool as well as an SR for Jack. So if you are interested in either one of those, please keep your eye open and save up those gems. I know that a lot of you will have already spent your gems on Azul, but hang on, because there's a second Azul at the end of the month. Uh, like, haha, surprise, bitches. <laughs> I, I, uh, I was already dreading this, because I, I am almost completely wiped dry of, like, my gems in the game. No time to save. But I'm also uh, getting war flashbacks from all the jacks I got. In the oh my god, yeah, wasn't it? It's always loving hours, you know, whichever SR is on the banner for an event. They always seem to pop up like a thousand times. You'll get a thousand copies of them. <laughs> the so... English uh, fan, the, the English players are gonna about to find out. Yeah. Well, hopefully you'll enjoy all of the jacks that you will inevitably get if you try to roll for SSR Beans Day Azul. Yeah, I get to repeat that all over again. For sure. But at least one thing that's really good with the events in Twisted Wonderland, and as you'll come to know soon, is that they usually always come with a free SR and R card as long as you complete the event. Yep, 
That is very true. And so it's, it's nice that, you know, you, you can... You don't have to necessarily roll on the gacha for like any sort of game meta or anything. Like it, you just roll for the SSR if you like the card. <laughs> so that's it. And usually like if you're like us, you usually only roll for SSR if it's a husbando that's on the banner. <laughs> yeah, otherwise like I have to hoard, I have to resist temptation to roll. I have to I have to pick my faves and stick with them. Absolutely. Well, uh, Koa, thank you so much for joining me. This was a great uh, idea, and I kind of love doing these little monthly updates with you for both uh, Japanese and English version of Twist. Let's do them again. Yeah, it's always fun to talk about Twist <laughs> in general. Absolutely, and be sure, all of my fellow prefects, to save your gems wisely, because Zul is showing us no mercy this month. Yeah, remember to gotcha responsibly. Mm-hmm. And with that, uh, we will close out and we will see you again uh, next month for April. And we'll see what April has in store for us. Yeah, until next time then. All right, this is going to be Little Bean signing out. Bye-bye. And it's going to be clocking out. Bye. <laughs>